the amount that he had before. But he get triple the amount that he had before. Come on, bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. And you know, tonight I just want to tell somebody. Most of us, we are looking at the wealth in the team and we are not looking at the righteousness or the inheritance. We worship the Lord. Money can't buy righteousness. Wealth can't buy righteousness. Luxury can't buy righteousness. Because even when we have the wealth and we don't have the righteousness, you know, one day we can lose everything. Let me, and you know, I hear this songwriter said, All the way. Oh, 
Be ye righteous, and wealth shall be your inheritance. A good man leaves inheritance for his children, children. But when you get your inheritance, what are you going to do with it? Do you spend it all in one generation? Or do you multiply it so that it can pass on to generations to come? Do you know why our people are poor? We don't hold on to wealth because we try to use it up in one generation. We get it and we use it all up. We're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to build on it and then pass it on to our children and grandchildren. I wasn't born with wealth. But when I got a little money, I made sure that I secured my grandchildren. I have one child, and that one child gave me seven grandchildren. And each one that is born, I take them to the bank, that child to the bank, and open an account with both of us name on it. And so, they just love the little excursion every Sunday we go to the bank. I bundle them all up in my car and I take them to the bank. They make a mess in the bank, they tear up the place, they make noise, but they just love it and the bankers admire it because here I am teaching them how to hold on to inheritance. They all have an account. The little ones, they can't even see the ATM. But I pick them up and they say, punch in your pin. And all of them pin is the year they were born. So it's easy for them to remember. They just punch in their pin. 2012, 2005, and then they make a big mess, they start making noise in the bank. Me first, me first. Mama, she was there last week. She was first last week. It's my turn now. But I just love to see how they behave because I'm teaching them how to hold on to their inheritance. And so each week I say, Remember, you have to save. So, how much are you taking this week? And one will say, I want $20, Mama. And I say, what is that for? And they tell me. The older ones will take like $50. But they know how to save and hold on to their inheritance. And when the bank statement comes, they compete. I got more than you, but you spent more than you should have spent. But I love to see the interaction because a good man leaves an inheritance to his children, children, but if you don't teach them how to hold on to that, they will be poor. So when you get your inheritance, you need to teach your children and your grandchildren how to hold on to that inheritance so that they don't just continue to be needing and wanting and wanting. So just, that's just my little speech for today. <laughs> now, let's talk about these boys. I don't see them moving the way they should. You've got to get your spiritual oils. These are Dr. Ray Anthony Foster's special brand of spiritual oils. And I even see Prophetess Sandra 
taking some of the oils. And when I talked to her about how slow the oils are moving, you know what she said to me? Mama, they don't understand. You have to teach them. And I said, I am teaching them. And a lot of people have been taking the teaching. But still, these oils, these special brand, Dr. Ray Anthony Foster's spiritual oils, you need to get your oil. There's an oil for restoration and an oil for breakthrough. You know what you need breakthrough in. You, need, you know what you need the restoration in. So get your oil and start sowing your seeds. And when you get your inheritance, hey, remember me.
I have no money. And before I could say to my cousin in Canada, she called me sister and she said, you're in my spirit, what is wrong? And I said to her, I'm feeling very low. I'm feeling very weak. And she said to me, smile. <laughs> she said, cause don't worry. And she transferred a hundred ten million in my account since then. I just want to give that thanks tonight because after every storm, there is a calm. And I live by the scripture, Philippians 4, verse 11. Not that I speak in respect of what for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. Yea, though I walk to the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I have to give God thanks for my blessing because my blessing is what I am earning tonight. I just have to give God thanks from the mind and over. And please just pray, my friend, because I am very good. As I said, I've been hurting for a long time. And I'm, I'm just trying to get back on my feet. Praise God. Just pray my feet in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray with you to love in the church. <laughs> Amen. What's wrong again? What's wrong again? What's wrong again? Let's go. God is the mighty God, the great God, the great maker. Hallelujah. I mean, that what we do here, we have to do our best to help one another. Amen? Hallelujah. That's the spirit of living. Amen. We are, we are still in the offering. And this is from Bishop. No, no, no.
Metropolitan, from me, my father, my daddy. Praise be to God to my sweet brother. Hallelujah. Our uncle, whatever you call it. And to you, sweet saints, you know, our African lady. Hallelujah. I greet you one and all. Hallelujah. Our queen, bless you. I greet you all, my daughter over there, and my son in law. Bless me to God and my daughter. Hallelujah. Bless me to God. I want to tell you something that um, the man of God have prophesied to me not even two weeks. A bright soon I saw you with a car. Hallelujah. And the car is going to look like the one that you have. Can I have an axiom? And bless me to God, my sweet daughter, she has blessed me with a key to a axiom. Yesterday, 
So you know that for me to be here, I was have to be here tonight before the end of this convention. Because God works in a mysterious way. His wonders to perform. He plant my footsteps on the sea and he rise up on the spot. And I want to tell you, all you members, secret art, and we know where we're coming from, especially a lot of us who started from this part of ground. There are many are lost and cannot be found. And many would love to come back, but because their conscience never give them the right to come back. And I can tell you, the man of God is doing a great job. And because of that, I could always you guys only have to be here to get the blessing by watching YouTube, just listening to the word. You can feel the power moving. I remember we just started secret that power in a secret. Remember power munching. <laughs> I remember the munching before munching can see it. and now I look at Munchi growing in this church of life. God it has been so good. I can't complain. So God, I just want to let you guys know that keep worshiping, keep doing the work of God. Even though the team is telling about righteousness. Righteousness exalted the nation. But sin is a reproach. And some of us use the word sin and we use it and take it for granted because sin is a reproach. But because of sin, it's always become righteousness. And we sometimes we fall, I don't know where we are, prevent where we are too much living in the world of sin. And we know that the sin is sin. And because we know there is sin, we go and we keep doing it over and over again and asking for forgiveness. But because the wages of sin is death, we are all here and because we are talking about wheat and tears grow till they are harvest, we need to repent and we come again. And we need to know that there is a God. Yes. And we cannot be having a church and not being so seed, not being getting soul to save, because there's so out there to save. I'm watching so much convention going on. And they never end with a baptism. Two weeks convention going on without baptism because we're not preaching the right. Word, we're not preaching sin. We need to start to preach sin and need to continue to bring soul to the God's kingdom. God bless you. God keep you. Back to the water in Jesus' name. Come on, church. Put your hands together. Come on.
said, hey, no. I have $100 and they need $10,000. I have, uh, I have a tree here. Is that a drink some money? Yeah. <laughs> so now a tree here. There's only a man who drinks money. That body, hey, bless God. Let's go work on somebody. We better come from London, England. How much is it? Me now, county. A hundred. Minister, you don't be so glad. Don't do that.
preacher. And you know what we preacher is. Amen. Our pastor will continue with the other service. Amen. In Jesus' name, our pastor will continue.
Okay. 